We have returned to the wasteland, uh, and we're trying really hard to get McCready to love us. That's all I want. Look at this hot little chef. His little outfit. We just, I, I want him to love me so bad. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try to be, I try to be the best giant power armor boyfriend I can be. Uh, and hopefully, doing things for him and Don't worry. stuff will uh, make it so that he loves us. So let's try. Let's try, shall we? But first, murder and mayhem. Murder mayhem. Mm -hmm. But first, we gotta sell some stuff. So we picked up a lot of crap in that dungeon. A lot of crap in the dungeon. So, okay. Um. Oops. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm gonna we'll break these down. They're worth more to me broken down anyway. No, that's. I want it. To, I'm just. I, yes. You can't craft in your power armor, and I forgot to sell that stuff. So hold on. Hey. What's up? I would like you to wear something on your face to protect your beautiful eyes. Yeah. <laughs> now it looks like Guy Fieri. Yikes. Hey. Maybe I don't want to romance him anymore. How could I stay away from someone as cute as you, Daisy? Uh, you're a lousy liar. But I'll just play stupid and pretend I don't know that. So, what do you need? I got it, Daisy. I found the cure to Duncan's disease. Oh my god. That's wonderful news. How'd you do it? Last time you tried, the pharaohs almost chewed you to bits. Pokes 36, thanks well. for the sub. Look into the math squad. friend here got me through med tech. Now, all I need to do is get the cure into Duncan's hands. Can you help me? Of course, McCready. You saved my behind yes. more than once. You saved some kids. It's okay. You can trust me. I swear I'll get the cure to Duncan. If McCready trusts you, that's good enough for me. I appreciate that. He's actually not so bad. Once you get to know him, I'll get the sample on the first caravan leaving the Commonwealth. The driver owes me a few favors, and he's yeah. a Yeah. It will arrive at your homestead in no time, McCready. Thanks. You're a doll. Hey, do me a favor. Take care of McCready for me. Oh, I will. I'll you take care of him homes. real good. Don't you worry. That's up. Me and this sexy little muffin. We're gonna be okay. What do you want? Here's that ammo. No, oh, just thanks for some ammo. Let's talk How about our relationship. About us. When it comes down to it, I like having you much Now that is some armor. Let's try and keep Check it that way. Hydraulics. Thanks again. Now you're here to trade. <laughs> just everybody talking to me at once. Like all the NPCs He's trying to broken. babble at me. Cleo, I hope you're buying. Even a girl with an arsenal full of weapons needs to make a living after all. So, there's a conversation going on in chat, and it's totally, I mean, it's not totally off topic. It relates to the, like, flirting stuff we were talking about before, and actually relates to this game, in a way, because uh, you can you can have uh, multiple simultaneous relationships in the game without uh, affecting uh, the, uh, the outcome uh, of any relationship. So it's not like Mass Effect, where if you're like, I want to romance this person, and then all the other people you're romancing are like, get out of here, we're jealous and mad. Um, people in the uh, in the chat are talking about uh, relationship anarchy and open relationships. So if you follow me on Twitter, you know that relationship is anarchy is a, a topic that is near and dear to my heart. Uh, it's a form of uh, non-monogamy that um, I personally try to uh, to practice uh, in my life. Um, so there's some weird personal information about me, um, and. The basic tenets are that it's built on the idea that no person should be in control of any other person's behavior unless that person consents to being controlled. Um, so what that means is that when you're in a relationship with someone, um, often in a sort of typical monogamous relationship, there are... Um, unstated or occasionally stated uh, parameters to that relationship defining what your behavior can be. Um, the kinds of ways that you can interact with people that you may or may not be potentially romantically interested in. Um, so with relationship anarchy, the idea is that you're building a um, 
you're building a, a space for your relationships that is non-oppressive, that allows you to um, be the person that you are and to have the feelings you feel and to be interested in people in the ways that you in, are interested in them and not be uh, controlling of other people in those relationships in the ways that you're interacting with people. Um, so it's about personal liberty and, and freedom to do and feel as you, as you want. Uh, Obviously, you know, you get involved with people who take your feelings seriously, and so if you're like, hey, it makes me feel really uncomfortable that you're dating or hanging out with this particular person who I feel, like, weird about or who's been mean to me in the past or whatever, um, it's about respect and about talking those things out, but it's not about compromise, right? Because a lot of relationships we're taught are about the idea of compromise and of, like, I want A and you want B and we're both going to get C, which is neither A or B, so we're both kind of unhappy in some way. Um, now again, all of this with the caveat that it's all just my, like, a, a philosophy that I personally am all about, but may not be true for everybody. My experience isn't yours or anybody else's. Um, Intruder identified. This is a restricted... What's up, asshole? Your arrival wasn't in the mission. Um, but the idea is that you engage in relationships non-hierarchically, where everyone is important to you for their own reasons and not just because of the type of relationship you're in. That, I think, is a big part of relationship anarchy, is the idea that your friends are... Like, your non-sexual, non-romantic friends are just as important on their own merit, and that uh, people don't just get to be more important because of certain activities that you do with them or certain types of relationships you have. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. Just, it's a thing. It's a thing that I, like, again, no philosophy is perfect and no philosophy works for everybody, but that's a way that I kind of move through the world and I know that there are some folks in chat that feel the same way, so maybe I will leave it to you. I will turn it back over to, to you and if you want to talk about it, uh, please do. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Look up relationship anarchy. It's interesting. Use the stairs to leave. The elevator's been Yeah, I fooled you, sucker. Railroad kind of Use the stairs to the leave. Corner up here, the it? elevator's been disabled by the second unit. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. I want to steal your stuff first. No, I want. I want your. No, stop. What in the fuck? Nothing yeah, to do. Oh, shit. I arg. Functions normal. <laughs> there we go. Get anything worth talking about? All right. So what's my quest currently? I can uh, kill all coursers. Okay. Well, I will. No, I want to be hidden. Get this pillar in the way. Stop following me. Elevator's been disabled by the second unit. I'm gonna use your face to die. Oh. You're dead and you have no loot because I took it all already. Sorry, chimp. I wish that you could set the companions to auto loot any ammo that they need. Um, I think that'd be really cool because it would save me having to pick stuff up and give it to them. Zir, welcome back. Thanks for the resub. Glad to have you. Ooh, jet. Awesome. Thanks, railroad agent. Alright, do I still have more of these guys to kill? What's happening? I am equipped. Yeah, kill all coursers. Alright. <laughs> J 
chill out, McCready. All right, here we go. That's true. If they picked it up, I wouldn't get to be a human junk vacuum, which I do really enjoy. Just running around, hoovering up all the all the ammo. Give me all the ammo in the world. Excuse me. Rude. No. Fuck, fuck the protectrons. Fuck the police. I definitely heard a turret, but I do not know where it is. Sounds like a uh, post-apocalyptic Dr. Su uh, Dr. Seuss book. Horton hears a turret. What the fuck? Oh, it's above me. Above and behind me. I need to go buy some more plasma ammo, evidently, because I'm using it all. Oh yeah, bathroom drugs. It would appear my target has disappeared. I think it's cool to, to sort of tie the earlier discussion back to uh, to Fallout. I think it's very cool, and I talked about this at the beginning of the game, that uh, the game allows you to romance multiple characters without making it a big deal. Now, it feels a bit like an over like a intentional oversight, right? Like it just doesn't, the game doesn't care. Um, but it would be cool if those characters would interact with each other differently uh, once you like romance them, like both or all, all three of them or however many you decide to romance. Because that, for me, was something that I was thinking about. Because there, there was a bit of um, kind of loosely defined like community building in this game, and it would be super cool if that um, tied in to the characters that you were romantically involved with, so that you could go home and the um, you know the the characters you romance, like Kate and Piper would be like hanging out, like having a conversation about you or something when you walked by, or you know, like they. You know, obviously not every uh, non-monogamous relationship involves like creating like closely knit units across the board, but it'd be cool if they like talked or hung out in a different way, if we got some different dialogue options. <laughs> Surprised anyone wants to date me with these awful pick skills that I have. Oh no. Also, um, making it like, making it an option for, you know how in, um, like, the Bioware games, some characters, like, the characters have a sexual, uh, preference. They have a, um, an identity. So they're gay or straight or bi or whatever, um, whatever else the, the characters are. I'm not super familiar with, like, every Mass Effect character's sexual, uh, uh, preference. But anyway, um... So if you are a gender that they are willing to romance, then you can romance them. Like that's a that's a real thing. So someone can just be like, "Sorry, lady bro, I am a gay man. I am not interested in being romanced by you." But um, it would be cool if that was in the game on a like monogamy level too, where if you already have a um, uh, a character uh, in your your like romance sphere, someone could say like, "Oh, actually, I'm not an available romance option because you know my my romantic situation uh, requires uh, monogamy, right? Because it's it's a it's a form of sexual identity or romance identity uh, as well. Um, but I think we're gonna get it. We're gonna get more and more nuanced." types of uh, relationships in games as game design continues to evolve. Um, because the closer that games and uh, society at large uh, get, the more likely we are to see that, that diversity uh, in, uh, in game design. Which I, for one, as we all know, am super excited about.
Does anyone have any plasma equipment for me? Oh yeah, also I need to level up. Oh yeah, another rifle perk. Hell yes. I think I'm gonna take that one. Let's just double check. If there's anything else good? No, we're taking that rifle perk for sure. Confirmed. Done. Mega guns. The neighbor is concluded, right? The extent of our operation there is quite sensitive. <laughs> oh my god. Just right, that's awesome. That's my new my new favorite description. New exciting romantic philosophies. No good nerves. Lost? God damn it, that's not the news I wanted to hear. Now we're in a race. Can we free the synths before the institute wipes us out? Yes, we can. We've survived this. I'm a PC. Long. We'll make it to the end. Here's hoping. With Tycon down, we're short-handed. If you could... Yeah, I don't know if I can help you. We'll, we'll see. I need to do main quest, or I'll never get this game finished. Where's Tom? Hi. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. The boys have been working on some new toys. Want to take a look? What do you have in stock? It changes. Depends. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I ate. Okay, I don't need to show know. I don't need you to tell me. Just show <laughs> Take me. Take a look. Show me the things you have. Okay. Um. So Audrey uses plasma rounds, obviously, which he, of course, doesn't have any of. Why would he? Why? Why would? Why would that be a thing that he would have? Oh, here we go. There it is. Oh, I thought it sorted the ammo at the top by default. Okay. Lovely. Um, is there anything else to give him? Yes, yeah, extra coarser outfit. There we go. Solid. Thanks, bruh. Hey. Well. And McCready, you need fusion cells. Oh, he has a lot still. I might as well give him the rest. Okay. You from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth to be a Oh, Randolph safe house. It sounds like a really obvious character name, Randolph safe house. Oh, what does he do? Oh, he runs the safe house. Randolph T. Safehouse. <laughs> Firan, do you hear Garrus everywhere? Yeah. Overuse of certain voice actors. It's not quite as bad in this as it was in The Witcher, but still uh, definitely happens because voice acting is expensive as fuck. Yeah, I wonder if Randolph Safehouse and Van Dyke Brown would get along. Yeah, sound design in general. It's true. Very expensive stuff. Um, making video games costs a shit ton of money. Um, Lefelini, you, you are welcome. I try to keep the... I, I try to make chat a place where we can talk about like serious topics in a way that is inviting and welcoming to everybody and I hope that the uh, I hope that the conversation can continue to be uh, civil and interesting for everybody um, I might keep playing Fallout but really the reason why I'm doing all this stuff is to impress where did where did he go where you at shorty shorty I just want McCready to love me and so I'm just trying to trying to impress him I want to 
romance everyone. Do you get a, uh... Do you get an achievement for romancing every single romanceable character? I mean, I know I killed one, but... I wonder if that's even possible with all the, like, political maneuvering that happens in the game. Coast Guard Pier. Oh, that was a sad, a sad death. Okay, where's I need another target? Give me a target. No, then name the system. Human. Oh no. Oh, I know that sound. That's a leg destroying sound. No, shit. Hey, fuckface. I am a super mutant. I am unstoppable. I really distinctly don't think that's the truth. is more bulletproof than I am. That'll help me shake it off. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin or whatever. Oh, there's a little prison down here. Oh, because it's the Coast Guard. Obviously, it's where you keep the fucking pirates when you capture them. Those Bostonian Coast Pirates. Yes. Oh, that's a cool picture. God, whoever does these magazine covers for the game, on point. On point. Alright, Gorilla Grodd. Seriously, come on. There we go. Am I impressed with what? I, I shot him. You? I'm greedy. Trying to take credit for my kills. Who is it? <gasps> Mr. Timms. You really saved our asses. Oh, I'm Mr. Timms. Everyone at Randolph owes you. When you're this big, they call you Mr. Damn straight you do. Sorry about that. You saw us through some really dark times. We all pitched in together. <laughs> my team's gonna be hunting for a new safe house. Knowing how he paranoid is. my runner is, it'll take a while. Take care. Institute Killer Weave mod. I hope that's a hair mod. I hope. I hope it is. I want a Killer Weave. It's not. It definitely isn't. But I want it. <laughs> Do we have a uh, power armor repair station in this? This dump? This shithole? Here it is. I don't have enough plastic. 
get fucked. That's not true. Damn it. I suppose you're here for my medical. Shut up, I'm going back to my base. Shut up. I don't have to hang out with you nerds. Man, the railroad needs me way more than I need them. They have like next to nothing to offer. It's a good thing I like them so much. Get out of your armor, please. There we go. There, there we go. Got all these materials at home. Do it yourself. Alright. Let's go do these two. Let's go, let's go to the base. Let's go return to father. We'll do the whole fucking thing. Okay. No, I don't want to go to the ruins. I want to go to the institute base. Yeah. Oh hey, guy in heavily armored dude in power uh, or heavily armed dude with power armor shows up in your special house here and you don't even you don't even notice or care. Welcome. All right, Do you, you say so. Additional supplies. Let's see what you got. You got plasma shit for me? I want it. Yeah, damn cartridges. So so much useless shit. Alright, well, whatever, I'll buy it. I have what, what at this point feels like a near infinite supply of money, so. Is it true? Child you were scheduled for maintenance duty in an SRB last Most men lack the patience to observe and document the plan. Where am I even going? Oh, upstairs, okay. I wouldn't be here, not for your son. Okay. I mean, I don't want you to be here. I want you to be free in the world. Like a free person with their own agenda and ability to decide things. I'm glad to see you return safely. I know the task. Papa son! But I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can rogue be. Rogue synths are just as dangerous as people. The Institute created that synth. So the Institute is responsible for what it does. I disagree. A synth is no more inherently evil than a handgun. Okay, yeah, a man I agree. Dies by gunshot. Is the weapon's maker blamed? I mean, of course not. That's the blame rightly falls on he who pulled the trigger. Yes, we created. Well, guns synth, don't kill people. People kill people. To or not, Synths the don't kill people. Agents turned it into a killer. But enough about that. The task is done. He's kind of got a point, and kind of not. I don't know. Safely to us. With synths, it's different because a gun doesn't have artificial intelligence. Uh, well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I. Okay. I mean, I like a stock of arms and equipment. That's nice. I'm gonna betray you though, so. I I hope you know that. Or actually, I really hope you don't know that. Uh, let's go check out our quarters, and then also plant the secret stuff. Let's see, is it tracking both my quests? Yeah, this is my quarters, okay. 
I do, I feel like there's been a lot of games and a lot of movies and shit this year that deal with themes of artificial intelligence. Have you noticed that? I don't know, I, I play a lot of them because I love the idea, but I did not expect this Fallout game to be about, um, like, free will and AI and stuff in any meaningful way. Am I? Oh, yeah, okay, so it's ahead and up. So this is confusing. It's like the Citadel. I have no fucking clue where anything is. I don't go to robotics. Where's the stairs? This is hard. Good to see you. Okay, that's where I was. Oh. Again. I know it'll be a difficult adjustment. Um wasting to to wasting things. battery power here. Here we go. Okay. I look so janky compared to everybody else's like shiny coolness. But if I had that enclave armor, they'd take me seriously. Your quarters are just inside. I shot you in the face. Why are you so nice to me? These are my quarters. This looks like a science lab. When you're finished here, sir. I hate it. I hate it here. To see you. This is dumb. Where's all the stuff you promised me? Here we go. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put that quest on hold. Yeah, and I'm gonna upload an encrypted message into an institute terminal. So I guess I just gotta find any computer. That's not a com wow. How do you figure that works? You just jam your eyes onto those things. I'm gonna go. You know I love my work, but I love being a father. It's sad because I'm gonna murder all these people. It's not, that's not true. It's not sad. It is scary, kid, and I'm from there. Ergo, I'm scary. Where can I find a terminal? Nobody has computers that have screens, they always have weird eyeball computers. Shut up. I am at your disposal. Would you care for food based products? Maybe the bioscience division has a computer. Nice work bringing that rogue synth back. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things about genetically engineered crops. Where am I supposed to do this? Okay, give me the... Show on map. I know, it's in here, but... Like, where? Just any terminal? It's great, because I can't find any. Hey, is this a terminal? Yeah. Oh. Too good. Damn it! <laughs> Hi, gorillas. Is that a terminal? Oh god, that looks like a terminal. Okay. I found one. How do I Oh it's a it's a thing. Okay. Load load tape. Nope. Ah, this is irritating. Okay. If the game wanted me to go to a specific to terminal, it should point me at that terminal. Humanity's future is taking root right here. Where's the any terminal? <laughs> uh, I can't find it. Good to see you. Shh. Stop talking to me. I'm in a bad mood. Since requisition clearance granted. How may I help you? You can help me by pointing me at a place where I can sabotage your stupid base. Okay. Um. Let's do this. Let's go. 
gonna go back to the entrance of the institute. Oh, it just takes you here. Yeah, I don't know. This is boring. Someone tell me where I can find the thing. If, if you know, yeah, the terminal of the entrance where you first come in, that's what I thought. But now I can't remember how to get there on foot. This place is very confusing and I'm really bad at navigating. There's a maintenance computer on the wall somewhere? Okay. Yeah. Again, sci-fi hexagons. So you can tell. Hexagons are very science fiction-y. I love how the, the seams lined up like that, and then when it comes around, like this is a very well-designed elevator. Super cool. Okay. What do we got around here? An inaccessible door. Okay. Oh, that looks like a terminal. Looks like a hell of a terminal. Okay, let's see. What's it called? Encrypted message. Alright. Encrypted message. There it is. The big D demanded a tutorial be included, so here it is. Plug this into any. Oh, okay, I already did it. I know how. Copy complete. Break, break. Detected form program. Holotape hijack. Copying urgent reply from terminal. Copy complete. Acknowledged. Meet at the advanced system maintenance room. All right, let's go. Let's go and meet with the mole. Also, the only big D I know is Dunkelzon. So if it turns out that that lady, uh, the Desdemona, is a dragon, um, this game is going to go off in a weird direction. Yeah, like, look, the lines line up perfectly when you land, and then it spins around, and, oh, that's so satisfying. Excellent elevator design. Ten out of ten. Would elevate again. Hey, it's me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. Yes. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. A friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that off. Wow, your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? The railroad sent me to look for someone they call Patriot. That's you. What? The railroad? As in the railroad. And they gave me a code name too? I kept sending sins to the surface hoping someone would help them. Hells I yeah, bro. The railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. You saved a lot of sins. So much to take in. But wait, with you in the picture, I have this idea to rescue a lot of sins at once. Yes. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? 
Right. Let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. Probably best for me to steal your clothing and weapons. I know my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface. But that can't be right. Heck, you look positively normal to me. Uh, no really? Offense. Do I, though? Also, you don't need clothes on, so I'm not sure who's normal? Ever make the surface actually a decent place to live. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help, you know? <laughs> it's good that you have time to work out down here. Greetings, sir. What's up, Cynthia Pants? Okay. Liam, 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 Liam. Liam. Good. He's here. C-114. It's me. Sir, do you require something? Z-114. He's a friend. He's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous. And you bring a stranger. You. How do I know we can trust you? Because the members of the railroad have dedicated their lives to fight for you. That's not what I'm saying. Find that hard to believe. That you find it hard to believe? What if I save the scum my way through this conversation? The members of the I find that hard to believe. Yeah, but what if a third time? What if I what if I tried to make you listen to me again? Because the members then of what? the railroad have dedicated their lives to fight for your freedom. I, nah, I thought so. Only Mr. Benet cared. But your friends actually fight for us? That's what the railroad does, C1. He's from the surface. I'm from I've never the met surface. another human willing to help. But, sir, we must make this quick. Right now, how many cents want to escape, C1? The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. That'll take forever. Let's free those thirteen all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get That's an interesting phrase, them? like, my people. Like, that they see each other, no at least this synth sees other synths as, like, sealed. the culture he belongs yes, to. Like, they're, they're his people. Which is if interesting. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your synths to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure. Okay, alright. Liam. Just a few high security doors, right? Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah. A head on hack is the sucker play. <laughs> so we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. Of course I'll help you. Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. <laughs> Roll culture, sin. I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, uh, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the institute. I can but get if you it. Get me a pre-war admin password from. What's the wrong with his neck? I'll log right in. I'll find it for you. That's great. Unfortunately, uh, the there's obvious something very. Clean. I don't feel good about the CIT that. CIT ruins were picked clean years ago, but some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. Okay, Liam. Uh, I guess I'm leaving now. Okay. Go and go to the doctor and get some weird neck surgery because you look like a giraffe and uh, I will be back. Friends. Pam wants to talk. I have been to the place. Also Heads Pam has talked to me. Pam's got more goodies and stuff. <laughs> Check it out. We got a lot of sense in play right now. This thing's really dangerous. Hello Pamela. Variable's arrival is approximately over. Late. Courser activity present in. I'll do it. Response. It's taking, taking quests. Have you met with Patriot yet? I have. I met Patriot. His name is Liam Benet. I knew you'd get the job done. We need every scrap of intel you picked up in there. Write up a full report on Pam's terminal. After you're done, we'll analyze it and figure out the next step. Get to it. Yes, ma'am. Tinker Tom's cooking up some. I hope it goes bad. Excuse me, Gloria. I asked the coursers before they found Tinker. Tom. 
Though it was uncertainty, I thankfully the signal interceptor worked. When I materialized, I found myself in an empty room. Z114 can get the 13 cents in place, but in order to make them get them to make it to the teleporter, Patriot needs a username and password for V1 of CIT's code defender. Consult with Pam immediately, Agent. This okay. Pam? Pam. Preliminary analysis complete. Anything we need to move on? Affirmative. Code name Patriot requires admin credentials for code defender security software. Cross indexing. CIT security administrators with 2077 Commonwealth Census records. Filtering by surviving structures. One match found. Bergman. Wilfred. Wilfred Bergman. Wilfred. Registered as co owner of Cambridge Polymer Labs. Okay. Thanks, Pam. Compliment detected. Analysis. <laughs> okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to use that. That's my new. Compliment detected. <laughs> Analysis irrelevant. Okay, code defender. Mm -hmm. Alright, Cambridge Polymer Lab is. Uh... To the lab! To the laboratory! Yeah, tired Dorian, you make a good point. There's a conversation about uh, voice acting going on that I'm only kind of half keeping track of, but um, voice acting is pretty hard work. Imagine sitting in a room for eight hours and reading lines to yourself basically nonstop while trying to sound interesting. Yeah, sitting alone in a room by yourself, staring at a computer trying to sound interesting is very difficult. Hi, Molly. Shall we begin your application now? Yes. Sure, the world may have ended, but why not sit at a desk all day? Let's see what employment opportunities we have available for someone given your qualifications. <laughs> Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question one. Do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? Uh... Sounds like you need me regardless, so let's get down to brass tacks. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of lab assistant. Would you like the orientation... N not move along. No. Let's just move it along. <laughs> Due to staffing needs, we can forego the orientation at this time. Please follow me to the research lab so that you may begin your work. Complimentary beverages are provided for employees. Please label any food or cigarettes you leave in the break room. Label your smokes, kids, or someone else will take them from you. Where are we going, Molly? How much do I get paid for doing this lab assistant job? Oh, thanks. I'm already in my proper work attire. I'm here to put work in. Thank you for your attention and welcome to the team. Oh, I get it. Talking to Molly will open this door. Ah. I'm in. I'm in the clean room. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, wow, mandatory overtime, and you're not allowed to leave. We've locked the doors. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. Nucleostrictive lining project. Hypothesized by taking a known piezoelectric material and applying a polymer of gold and lithium hydride, the localized conversion of ionizing radiation to electrical energy might be achieved. Oh, cool. So they're just taking, like, ambient energy, uh, nuclear energy, and turning it into power. Initial tests to prove the methodology is sound. Radioactive energy harvest is 15 times higher than current automotive fusion engines. There's still problems we need to overcome. The ionic excitation in the gold provides harvestable electrons because it builds up a thermal waste. The heat's not substantial. 
Due to the lower shear modulus, the gold suspension in the nano weave starts to break down. Interesting. Gold armor. I want it. Slight hit to the harvest efficiency, but extended the static material lifetime from a matter of days to several years. It's already a successful experiment. The project parameters require a flexible lining applied to power armor. Oh, yeah. We're trapped in the lab for days now, and tensions are running high. The team is fractured and falling apart. They don't know what's going on outside, and have started making attempts to escape the lab. While I was sleeping, they managed to cut a hole through the thinner interior wall of the clean room, but have been unable to break through the hardened outer wall. Will started talking about the others about going into the problem from a more oblique angle, which got me to thinking about the thermal dissipation problem when it dawned on me. If we change the dosing pattern, it isn't producing nano holes perpendicular to the surface, but instead at an angle, we might find to be able to reflect the most direct radioactive particle and trapping only those coming in at an oblique angle of the material. We could achieve a lower energy harvest, but the heat dissipation issue might be solved. Tom and Mary and I are going to gather the samples needed to try it. We've been unable to gather the samples needed to try the new dosing pattern. Will has locked himself in one of the labs and is attempting. I love seeing everything just like crumbling, everything like falling uh, apart. Uh, when we tried to get to the U-238, we needed the isotope containment. He locked it down, leaving Mary stranded inside. He said it's going to set the defense system so it looks like the lab has been breached. It's not unlock the clean room, but it'll activate the automated defenses. It'll see us as attackers. He means to fight his way out, but that's suicide. He's the only one in the lab with military training. We don't even have real weapons. There's going to be a lot of bodies in this lab. We've managed to pull down part of the ceiling in C1, which will get us into the utility crawl space. It can't get us out, but it should be able to get us above the lab where it's barricaded itself in. I don't like it, but we might have to drop in on him. Yikes. Okay, well, cool, lab drama. But basically all I care about is there's going to be some lootable science in here. I hope so. I really hope... Whoa. Unidentified sample. I want it. Polymer coating applicator. Oh, there's like a bunch of shit I can do here. Cool. There's science to be done. Well, let's do it. Isotope sample. Unidentified sample. Oh dear. Okay, well I guess I gotta get more stuff. School McCready, I have no idea what it means either. Go to sleep, former scientists. So I'm hoping that if I do this quest right, that I'll get, uh, I'll get some kind of cool upgrade for my power armor. Yeah, we should get the heck out of here. Now, would be good. Chill, dude. It's cool. Oh yeah, more samples. I mean, I know I'm here on a quest, but like, I, I'm, I'm hooked by this, the science business. Oh yeah, there's another one. I didn't find sample 65. I've got three now. Adobe. None in spoons, so it's not oh in the middle. There we go. Open all security doors. Release the hounds. Yeah. That's exactly what I want. That isotope. Oh, 
Oh no, I need... Mm, it's an expert terminal. That's so annoying. Oh no. Uh, I want to be able to do this quest. Look, look, there's a thing right there that I want. I want it. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh well, let's see if there's another way in. I mean, there must be, right? All right. Let's go. I can. I can still do it. Okay, good. How do I get around there? Let's find it. <laughs> Nerd rage. Oh, I can go from above. Eh, clever. How do I get up there? Is there an elevator that I've reactivated or something? Oh, right! That's the room he barricaded himself in because of the thing said they were going to drop in on him. That's right. I understand now. Alright, so i got to find my way to the... This can't be healthy. Yeah, there we go. I got some uranium in our inventory. Fucking why not? Right? Okay, so I'm I'm underneath now in the like water supply. Okay. Um let's go see if we can find our way. Lockdown is preventing me from opening the clean room door, so I can't leave. Okay, so we'll go back up and we'll see what we can find upstairs. It's a shame that the ghouls aren't uh, dressed uh, like you'd expect them to be. Like, you don't, um, they're not in lab coats. They're just wearing their, like, ratter, ratty ghoul outfit. Aha. Okay, there we go. I see it now. Also, more samples. Duct. Perfect. Okay, cool. I see. So it just helps you skip all that stuff. What the fuck just happened? Bergman's terminal. Alright, so we've got his password. Username T. Williams. Password Vernon is an idiot. Oh. That's not very nice. Breach detected in containment. Facility defense systems. Okay, so we've overridden them. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Uh, clean room. Access is locked. Internal mail relay. Well, this is insane. Even if you do manage to hack into the administrative controls, you know what will happen if you trigger a security breach? Yes, the doors to the clean room will open, but the first thing through them will be a wave of robots to kill every living intruder in the lab. If you manage to get past them, there's also the turrets. There's one right here in the lab, remember? If you do this, you're more likely to get us killed than to set us free. You got it right, Erica. Wilfred, 
Do you think I wouldn't catch on to what you're doing? I got a network alert the moment you took control of the isotope containment. You may have been the best hacker on campus back at CIT, but it was years ago. And while you were busy up in Alaska pretending to be a soldier, we had the best programmers working on our security system. I told you weeks ago I'd let all of you out of the lab once the research is complete. Locking Erica and the rest of the team out of isotope containment just to spite me doesn't accomplish anything. And then the mandatory overtime. Yeah. Backup cannot be restored. Okay, so do I need to know what uh, order? Like, is there a clue somewhere? Wow, that's gross. That skull is eating the meat. Um, is there a door that, uh, or an order that I need to know to apply uh, the... Um, Oh, sorry, Molly. Apply the goop in? Let's find out. See, yeah, I can put them in order. Alright, let's take a look. Let's see what the computer has to say. I don't want to place anything. I mean, get out of here. Thank you. Ah, here we go. Okay. So, check current fabrication parameters. Begin. I gotta get out my notebook here. Uh, one, one, four, two. Input lithium hydride. Input region to gold. Apply output to metal hard form. And then U238. I don't really know what any of that means, but let's. Ah, uh, okay, so scan loaded reagents. So I can put the reagents in and it'll maybe tell me what they are. Uh, okay, I see. So hydrochloric acid and lithium hydride. So lithium hydride is... Does it tell me now? Yeah, it does. Okay, good. Hydrochloric acid. Let's figure out what my other crap is. Gold and tungsten. I don't even need that tungsten shit. And then unidentified sample 49. Cobalt, which I don't need. Adam's cobalt. Okay. I would like it back, please. Okay, so I apply lithium hydride and gold. And then what happens over here? Isotope sample? Oh, I gotta put in that isotope. Okay. Run it. I guess we'll save first. Hold on. Okay. Let's make sure. Yeah, lithium, gold. Okay. Do 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 do. Please observe a viewing window. Output will be dispensed at wall. Yeah. Zoom. I want solid gold power armor. Yeah. Piezonucleic power armor chest. Rad. I'll take it. Cool, that wasn't too hard. I'm happy I could figure that out. Might as well take this U-238 with me. Oh, I can't. What a rip. Okay. work everybody let's reward ourselves with a, uh, a short break and we'll come back and I'm gonna go uh, to my home base to put on my new power armor chest because apparently again just leading into that power armor endgame so stick around and we will have more Fallout 4 
right after this. <laughs>